Hi guys, I told you that I'll keep on getting the best brains in this country and bring them to us so that they can give us tips on not just how to do business but also how to do life. And you know here at Maridadi Motors, this guy called Churchill just got married the other day and I've been looking for a coach to come and talk to him about marriage, about family life and so many other of you followers of Maridadi Motors who just started your families the other day or you're planning to get married, you're a young man and you're like, I don't have someone to walk with me. Maridadi is here to walk with you. We bring you the best. Today, I bring you my big brother here. <laughs> Hi, bro. How are you? Manzi, thanks so much for thank coming. You, thank you. Let me give you an intro of this big brother of ours. His name is Mr. Kenyanjui Mushai. He's the founder and chairman of PMG Property Consultants Limited. But apart from that, he does so many other things to help young people get a footing in life, get a footing in family life. And that is why I felt he's the right person to come and talk to us. Mr. Kenyanjui. Yes, my brother. Say hi to our followers, Bana. Hi, good people. Thank you for having me. Once again, congratulations, Churchill. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. And uh, my brother for inviting us here. Yes. Um, my name is Kenyanjui Mushai. I'm founder and chairman of PMG Property Consultants, a boutique real estate outfit dealing in high-end commercial and residential listings. I'm also a parenting and a marriage coach. I serve at Maduno Church as an associate. And uh, wow, this is a good, good, good time to finally meet up with Church. I have someone that I can ask questions that we have had. Actually, right now we are thinking of uh, having a child, and I've been debating with my wife because for me, in Africa, I, budget. Right now, right now, na na ni push to answer say easy na galia budget na say my let's push two years. What do you think about? Wow, you see, marriage is very interesting. Mm -hmm. One thing you need to understand that it is a covenant, and as a covenant, there is you, your wife, and God. So whatever is agreed upon here, mm -hmm. it is also agreed where. So it is a conversation you need mm -hmm. to have. Remember, you need to have all hands on deck. Mm. But just like uh, I think it's Saudi Zulu have sung that song of Kila Mtoto Nakuja na Sahani Yake. I only have six children mm. and I'm not complaining. I even have space for two dogs. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, Congratulations. <laughs> so don't you worry about that. The yeah. thing is, pressure. Mm -hmm. is a lot especially for the newlyweds mm -hmm. but what i tell people that i usually take through mm -hmm. is the wedding is an event yeah. the marriage begins after mm -hmm. and it's the only space or place in the world yeah. where you find you get the certificate first then you start learning in any other setup mm. you do the course then you get the certificate on graduation yes, now here yes. you get the certificate then you start the marriage <laughs> so you need yeah. to understand mm. just like your partner Yes. She didn't have a template. Mm. Yeah. You're learning on the job. Mm. So you mm. need to understand each other. I yeah. personally, with my wife, we waited two years. But I had other mm. reasons for that. Mm. Mm. It is very important to first and foremost understand each other. Mm -hmm. To learn each other. Mm -hmm. Remember, in marriage, we have expectations. Yeah. And uh, they are different according to the agendas. Yeah. So you need to understand that if you start very early with a child's setup, things will be pushed in the back burner mm -hmm. and you both start focusing on the child yeah and then now that's where you might have issues mm. but if you're in agreement mm -hmm. it becomes a very easy conversation to have going forward because yeah. mm. you say let us give ourselves a year let us learn each other let us know because a child comes with many challenges where are we living yeah True. they'll want to go to school mm. where are they going to go to school mm what am i doing towards mm. are we even saving because mm. remember you just come from a wedding mm. so you spent mm. your coffers are empty mm. and then there's all this expectation also the societal pressure and family pressure mm. so you need to know the life is yours yeah. the wife is yours yeah. and some of these things is very important just like premarital mm. you have to involve god every step of the journey mm. so you need to engage each other you need to pray mm. once that conversation happens there's something i can send you yeah. uh, which is an ebook on uh, how that journey works mm. and how to engage the scripture there's even you speaking life into your child mm. 
your wife doing the same mm. and it takes you through the whole nine months once you get to that place and space mm. but before then enjoy each other mm. you know be in that space where there's no drama you know now you don't even need a nanny for what mm. and so 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 enjoy it's each just other. the two of them in yes, the house that yeah. is what we call in uh, marriage uh, counseling mm -hmm. the dream stage mm. everything is lovey dovey hunky dory and remember mm -hmm. this is the narrative that usually happens when a man gets a lady yeah. and you marry mm. you want her to be that girlfriend you met mm. when you were dating yeah. whereas for her when she gets married mm. for her you are a project <laughs> this is what she saw yeah. this is what she wants yes so you see already having your issues so you need to come together and understand first and foremost mm we are human beings yeah. and there'll be unmet expectations how do we handle this scenario mm. there'll be challenges which are thrown we just had covid we just had elections we've had... life happens yeah sure. mm. and it doesn't mean that you want a baby now you start uh, working towards that it doesn't happen automatically so what i get from you mr kenyan yes, is that no, once no. a couple gets married it is important for them to solidify their relationship exactly first before they bring a third party who is a foundation baby. yes, yes. it's very key so that even that process mm. you're now going to start your own story mm. but you have to start it on a very firm foundation remember mm. you're already married yeah. so there's that foundation between you your partner and god now you're bringing a product your product mm -hmm. something that has never happened before mm. believe you me the challenges are many so you need to really be able to absorb all these shocks yes mm. and there'll be many but believe you me it is worthwhile wow fantastic wow. yes real quick yes mm -hmm. for other people that are watching us, that's right yeah Churchill has asked his question yes now i want to ask a question for somebody in the audience who is watching us mm -hmm. i talked to mr kenyanjui we met in a networking forum and he was very passionate about this conversation of parenting yes. because he's a parent he's a parenting coach and i just wanted you to highlight why do you think it is important for parents today to be coached I mean kitambo ilikuwa tu umeoleka unaendelea but now it looks like it's getting formal that you know you want to get married you want to have kids let's coach you on parenting why is it important well um just like any other space you have to have preparation mm. usually back in the day remember society would bring up children mm. now we don't have that anymore mm. so we take our children to school and we expect everything to happen there yeah we delegate the role of parenting mm. sometimes to the school yeah. sometimes to even the church correct we are there just to facilitate mm. but believe you me our children and this is history mm. do not want to be invested for mm. which is what has happened all around us wow. they want to be invested in wow and remember children That's are profound. gifts from god mm. they have been given to us by god mm. and He's lent them to us. Their mandate is very simple. I gave you this child. What did you do with them? Mm. Ours is to bring them to God to make them learn and understand mm. how they can walk this journey called life knowing God. Mm -hmm. Now, I'll give you an example. I have a daughter who I'm bringing up that way mm. to know God and to fear God and mm. to understand how things are done as a Christian. Mm. My friend who shall remain ex has not done the same mm. when my daughter is of age she needs to get married if mm. she gets married to that son mm. who the parents didn't invest in they invested for mm. don't you think there'll be a disconnect be, and a yeah. serious one yeah and that is where we have the issues and problems with our society yeah so we need to invest in our children mm. not for wow, our children wow. and as a man mm. we need to understand their principles that as believers we have to stand by mm. you have to be the priest in your home mm. you have to be the prophet in your home mm. you have to be present in your home you cannot delegate fatherhood mm. you also have to be a provider mm. are we together mm -hmm. and you have to be a prophet wow amazing those are the five p's mr kenyanjui yes, yes my brother me to ask this. Okay. how early do you start the parenting coach is it after you've gotten a child or before before the parenting is for you when do the you the child has no manual when do you do a driving <laughs> course <laughs> before, acquire before you acquire the vehicle exactly yeah so it happens immediately you have that intention wow so that you have better prepared matter skill set to be able to continue and handle that journey 
going forward. Like I said, I only have six children. Mm. I think the wife has said that's enough, but half a dozen. <laughs> Amazing. You're it's way number, ahead of me. Numbers. I'm just at 50% of your performance. Karibu. Karibu. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mr. Kenyan. Thank Jui. you, my brother. I think we will continue with this conversation uh, because it's ongoing. And, you know, we keep getting these questions from our customers on the page. You know, let's talk about live. Let's deviate a bit from business and just talk about life. But Mr. Kenyajui, I wanted you to comment about one category of people, uh, men, that I feel you need to talk to briefly, you know, for just a minute, and then we can continue the conversation later. Okay. We have a lot of young men who are brought up by single parents. That's right. You know, just their mothers. And we have to say, the mothers did a great job. Okay. But it basically means that it feels like some of these young men have never had a primary example around a man and maybe right now they are thinking of how to start their own families they are looking for places to go for counseling and for people to connect with where do you think they can start their journey of masculinity wow that's an amazing question you see what happens mm. we are creatures of habits mm. and uh, i love what you said and we have uh, the single parenting setup both ways it's mm. not only the women yeah. even men yeah correct i had also been a uh, solo parent for mm. my four adult children now oh, okay for quite some time okay so it flips mm. but usually what happens at that early stage remember once you start having this conversation on intentional parenting mm. you will realize early what your child likes or dislikes at that early stage you can get someone to mentor or work with this child at that early level mm. And that journey becomes so much easier. Remember also, we have, like in our space in church, we have the ropes program, mm. which is the rites of passage. We have the junior ropes, which starts around 10 years. Mm. Then you get to the ropes proper, which is 13 years. As mm. they're going to that, and then the camps that thereafter come, the Moran camps going forward. Yeah. In that space, you will find mentors yeah. who are keen to work with these people mm. going forward. Mm. We also have like... Uh, the Man Enough program, yes. which actually addresses not only the boy-child issues, but even father issues. Mm. So there are amazing products that are there. You just need to seek mm. and also follow mm. <laughs> uh, your page. Yeah. The information will be here. Yeah. It's about cars, but it's also about growing and learning from each other. Yeah. But believe you me, we're in the right space, mm. place, mm. and it can only get better going wow. forward. We have to stop there. So that you can come again. Of course. You have to commit that you'll be... Every time you're on Kiambu Road, please okay. stop by and give my young fathers a tip or two on how to do life. And also the mothers on how to do life, marriage and all that. Would you want to say thank you? Thank you. you thank you for having me. You are. Thank you. Thank you so much for finding time. Awesome. You guys, you've heard. Don't thank just you. be alone. Appreciate okay? <laughs> <laughs> and from them, you'll be able to learn one or two. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. Thank you, brother. Asante Thank you and God bless. Sir. Good stuff. Thank you, Chachil. Thank you. Yeah.